All right, guys, it's a little bit after lunchtime. Just pulled up over here at the Woodland Drive Spec House on the southeast side of Cleveland. And we are waiting for the uh, Bay Concrete pump truck to arrive and Bradley Concrete to send their truck over with some, uh, with some cement in the back. And I'm going to flip this around and show you exactly what we're about to do. All right, these blocks right here are going to be under the ground more than four foot so we're actually we have laid 12 inch block on the front and eights down the side because of the pressure that's going to be up against them and we have rebar every four foot in these gone all the way down attached in the footer and we're going to pour this front course of block right here completely full of cement then We'll put our French drain. We'll have a little bit of clean out to do down in here from the rain, just a light shoveling around the footer. And we'll put our French drain in there and fill that just about to the ground level with a gravel. We'll put as much gravel as we can get in there. That gravel will let the water flow through it a lot easier. Whereas this dirt right here will hold the moisture and the dirt gets really heavy and presses against the wall so hard, which causes uh, foundation failures in houses with uh, um, taller block foundations. All right, guys, uh, Bradley Concrete's here and uh, we got the Bay Concrete pump truck out here right now. Let me flip the camera around. I'll show you exactly what they're doing. All right, so the concrete's gonna come out of the back of this truck right here. It's gonna go right down into this hopper. We got a diesel engine up here that's turning this hopper and the valve on there. It's gonna follow right down this pump. And then Hunter right here with Bay Concrete Pump, he's gonna hook this on the end and he's gonna put that concrete directly into the block. And it's a special pump mix, a little bit thinner, got a different rock in it. So it'll go down to the bottom of those. And uh, once it dries, it'll cure out with that rebar and it'll make the uh, block wall strong so that all this backfill doesn't push it in uh, once the house is built in the future. So I'm going to go uh, along behind Hunter with this um, mason trowel right here and just kind of scrape off the extra and make sure there's no um, rock and aggregate on top of here that's going to um, get in the way of the green plate when the framers come in. Alright, here's what the finished product looks like. A little messy right now, but uh, You'll never see down here in this waterproofing and the tops I'll clean off before I put the rest of the uh, anchor bolts in. So he was just uh, putting a, uh, some newspaper in that hose and runs that newspaper through that hose to clean all the concrete out of it so it doesn't dry up in there. All right guys, so that was the quickest way to spend a thousand dollars on a job site. And uh, stay tuned, I'm going to run back out to Eagle Creek here after I get done putting these anchor bolts in. Maybe show you a little video of the anchor bolts and we'll see what the uh, how far along the insulation guys are going before we call it a day. All right, guys, one last shot. We only use Bradley Concrete for our concrete needs and Bay Concrete Pumping for our pump truck needs. As far as I'm concerned, those are the only two businesses that exist in that fashion, and that's all we use. Here's Hunter. He's uh, cleaning out his pump right here in the driveway, going to spray and put it all out. They always do a very neat, clean job. Uh, super nice people. Guys, here's a little bonus video. We got Cleveland Utilities out here uh, using this four cut machine. They're cutting across the road to install our uh, sewer. 
I had no idea they were going to cut across the road, but they are. guys just got back out here at Eagle Creek uh, flip I'm gonna flip this camera around and give you a quick walk through these uh, installation guys are burning it up in here they're super fast all right here we are like I said earlier Tyndall's is the one uh, doing the installation on here so here we'll run through the house they've already got the installation here on the in the kitchen area let's run back through here they're gonna get all the low stuff today and then they'll come back with their stilts and uh, get up high and staple all of it off and uh, finish off everything else and keep in mind they've already been foaming all the um, holes any penetrations they foam and like I said they normally caulk around the bottoms but I already did that with a uh, different kind of caulk I wanted to use they foam around all the windows and then they put all the bad insulation in go ahead and run upstairs here I didn't even know they had been up here yet but here's the bonus room they put these um they put these foam baffles in right here and then the insulation goes over the top of that and that allows the uh, air to breathe from the cornice outside up under those and it keeps that um, keeps that cool. That way it can uh, breathe and push the hot air out the top of the ridge vents in theory. concludes our activities for today we'll be back out here in the morning at eagle creek to get these insulators started and get the stuff moved out of the garage so they'll have an easier time in there uh, i appreciate everybody that's watching our videos go over and um, get on our youtube channel and subscribe to that and stay tuned for more stuff tomorrow from uh, fry tag builders